All right, new exercises this week for the shoulder is active range of movement. Now there's two sets, set A and set B. The first set, set A, is working on just active movement of the shoulder. So now I'm allowed to go into flexion, and this is really nice. You've got to slow it down a little bit at the top. Watch your impingement, and then slowly coming back, especially down the bottom there where the load is on the bicep tendon. So up here you've got to watch the impingement, down here, you've got to watch the load on the bicep tendon. But this is really, this is the start of the strengthening work, proper strengthening work. Even though there's no weight, this is really, really good as an entry point. Active abduction, I like doing in the first the sort of week of it, is doing a short lever. So the long lever is there's too much lever load. So just go to a short lever to start on week eight, and you can progress to a longer lever later. Remember, no weights, just active movement. And the weight of the arm, is enough for the entry point into strengthening. You can't put any weights in your hands or use any bands this week. It's all just active movement. So you think of it like a mixture of mobility and strengthening. External rotation's pretty similar. I like keeping the elbow just on the side for now because if you lift it off, you're doing way more rotator cuff work. So just work on just the external rotation part and keeping the elbow down. Now, if you're a bit restricted in your external rotation range, that's as far as you're gonna get. And again, that's enough load for that muscle that's recovering, that tin that's recovering for this stage. So again, working on active movement, same drill, three sets of 10 with each exercise. You can also do flies, but again, no weight. And you know, technically this looks like a, a chest fly, but we're really aiming for horizontal flexion extension. So that movement and the muscle activation through that horizontal flexion extension range, trying to work on control and strengthening at this point to try and get those muscles working in preparation for loaded work down the track. And the last one is actually just doing simple bicep curls because you've done a bit of tricep work with the skydives. The bicep curl one is just to get that tone back up into the bicep, especially if you've had a tendinesis or surgery through the bicep tendon, you would have lost a lot of tone through there. You can't put any load through that tendon yet, so you can't use any weighted work, no bicep curls with weight or bands. Just work on trying to get the muscles squeezed and active through that range. And then set B for week A is focusing a little bit more on scapular work. So the first one is a one-arm skydive. Now this is basically just extension plus retraction and a little bit of rotation. So repetition-wise, retraction of the scapula, extension of the elbow, extension of the arm, or the shoulder if you like, and a little bit of external rotation when you come up with the thumb, as much as you can. And again, that's a little bit of a combined strengthening with your extension. You can also progress to a skydive double-handed, which is usually used for lower backs and, and shoulders. But this is an isometric one, so this is getting your isometric posterior chain tone up. And again, there's a little bit of active range load for the shoulder, and you can work on your ranges and your external rotation and your scapular retraction at that point. Same drill with a row, okay, it looks like a bent over row, but no weight, all right? You're allowed to do this, think of horizontal extension, you're doing a little bit of normal extension, you're also doing a bit of bicep work, you're doing a bit of scapular retraction work. So again, the, the w gravity is your load if you like, but it's still just body weight, active range of movement, perfectly fine to do this at week eight. Scapular protraction can start, so scap pressing using gravity. Again, it's just active range of movement, there's no weight with this. Make sure you get the full retraction, full protraction, and aim for trying to get a little bit of external rotation movement with that. Then you can progress straight into an actual chest press. Now, obviously, we're not doing any strengthening work, it's just getting that movement going, getting those muscles working, before you start loading up with bands in the later weeks. The only one you're allowed to load up with resistance bands is the scapula. So this is not resistance bands for the shoulder, but you can load up for the scapula itself. So as long as you're not doing any resistance through the shoulder, you can work on using a power band as a medium power band for scapular retraction. So doing both shoulders at the same time, if you like, if it helps, but the band on one. Again, you can't have the band in your hand, so it has to be around the shoulder blade. And again, you can do it into protraction, so just be careful that you're 
definitely around sort of the shoulder bay, if you like. You might have to step in the right direction and go into that protraction without too much elevation. And again, having the band on one side, but do both sides at the same time. And as long as you're not doing your resisted shoulder work, the resistance on the scapula is absolutely fine.